your numbers uh, today uh, we are going to see the various milk products prepared by using the kola that is the uh, pedam and kola gum there are lot of the uh, indigenous dairy products are prepared by using the kola but here in this lecture uh, we are going to see uh, only two products that is the pedam and the kola gum which uh, which are very important one and these are very very popular among the indians uh, peda is a sweet prepared from the pinde variety of khoa by addition of sugar as you know that uh, what do you mean by the pinde variety of the khoa pinde variety of khoa means the khoa uh, which uh, not which does not show the any signs of the fat uh, uh, leakage then uh, it has a very low moisture content as compared to the other type of the khoa uh, so this type of the this variety of the khoa is used for the preparation of the peda uh, peda contains the sugar and the low moisture content and it has the better keeping quality than the khoa as you know that uh, in peda we are adding the sugar and therefore it helps to enhance the shelf life of peda and therefore it is said that the peda is having the more or the better keeping quality than the khoa peda have the religious importance as they are offered as the prasad during the worship of god in the temples the peda is generally offered uh, in the temples or it is offered uh, at the time of the ceremonial celebration or at the time of the happy moment so the peda is a very important part of the indigenous any kind of the happiness moment and that moment the peda is generally offered so uh, and peda is characterized as a circular slightly fattened ball with low moisture content and white to creamy white in color and uh, with uh, smooth texture so uh, this is the short introduction about the peda in next slide we are going to see the flow diagram for the preparation of the peda how the peda is prepared by using the khoa so let's see the method of preparation of the peda explore it so uh, this is the uh, method of preparation of peda that is the first one is the khoa khoa is taken the well quality of khoa again the uh, this khoa should be a, a superior quality only then we will get the peda of having a superior quality so here the khoa with the superior quality should be used then uh, after the next step is the heated to 60 degrees celsius in steam jacketed pan so this is the uh, flow diagram which is used at uh, industry level for the preparation of khoa then uh, khoa is heated to 60 degrees celsius in steam jacketed pan and then sugar is added sugar is added at the rate of 33% Uh, 30 to 35 uh, percent of sugar is added, and uh, before addition of the sugar, this sugar uh, is uh, grounded. Grounded sugar is only used for the addition of sugar, so it helps to uh, dissolve quickly in pera or in khoa. Then this uh, uh, mixture, uh, this mix in palatine mix. So uh, the khoa and the sugar is mixed in planetary mixer and then it is transferred to the cold storage when the total sugar is dissolved in this khoa then it is transferred to a cold room to set to settle down and then the temperature is reduced to 5 degrees celsius and again it is transferred to a to peda shaping machine when this mixture attains the 5 degrees celsius temperature after attaining this temperature it is transferred to the uh, peda shaping machine
where a desirable shape is given to this kova and after giving the desirable shape the sugar added kova it is transferred for the packaging and then the final product that the, we obtain the final product is the feta whereas as uh, at the household level a uh, very uh, very simple uh, very simple method is used for the preparation of feta just we have to take the feta then uh, this feta is uh, bit into a uh, is taken into a karahi then it is bit and then uh, 33 uh, 30 to 35 percent of sugar is added to this kova in karai and then it is mixed well and uh, then the cardamom or pistachio is added to that uh, uh, in that karai and then the final product which is obtained that is feta and in then uh, just we have to give a desired shape to that uh, feta so this is the way of preparation of feta but uh, let's see the actual method of the feta preparation at the household level So it thickens now. Hmm? It turns pasty after the 15 minutes. And they just we have to scrap the sides to avoid the burning of the khova. So it holds some shape. And uh, so this is the sugar addition stage where the sugar is added and it is uh, cooked at low flame. So the flame low flame should be used to, to avoid the burning. So it uh, when the sugar is added, it turns paste. Then again, the all the sides of the curry should should be scrapped properly. Then uh, the cardamom powder is added. And then again, it is mixed well. So it holds it. And this is the final feta. So, uh, it was very simple uh, steps to prepare the pera at household level. Just to, we have to take the kova or uh, directly we can uh, take uh, the milk into the karai and then, uh, the, then this milk is uh, taken into the karai and then we have to follow the steps of the kova preparation. After the kova preparation, uh, this kova is taken into the karai, then uh, we have to add the sugar in, uh, in correct portions and then again the sugar. Uh, is dissolved into that uh, when the, this uh, total sugar is dissolved into that kova again the cardamom is added and uh, it is taken outside the kova uh, karai and then it is cooled to the room temperature and uh, desired shape is given to that uh, and so uh, this is the, uh, the final product that we got that is the feta so these are the simple steps to follow for the preparation of the feta so uh, it was uh, all about the feta preparation at uh, uh, home level or industry level. Uh, in uh, next lecture, we are going to see in detail the gulab jamun preparation. So, till today, uh, this is enough. So, thank you very much.